What's going on? Appreciate you coming by. I am just blathering today about, guess what, my software, right? But okay, today I'm talking about PC software. This is a .NET Core app. So supposedly this app is portable, um, portable across from Windows to Linux maybe. I don't know, somewhere else. I don't know. Here's basically, I don't think I can make an installer for it the way that it gets deployed. So this is basically what the folder looks like. And it's got all these weird run times. See, there's Linux and there's uh, OS. Uh, that's not me OS. That's, uh, I think that's um, uh, Apple OS. Unix. Right, so whatever. It's like this uh, cross-platform type of app now, right? Anyway, whatever. That's pretty boring. So uh, it's like basically an empty house, right? So remember, the, well, first of all, remember the first app? Maybe <laughs> they look like relatives, right? Hey, this is my. This is like the deformed. I shouldn't even say. It. I shouldn't. Uh, no, this is this is basically the first app I wrote doing OBD2 uh, experiments, and I was just like, okay, let me create a tab to do this. This thing was. <laughs> I had so much to learn working on this. Anyway, that's how you learn, right? So this is just a hodgepodge of stuff. There's no real coherent go this way, go that way. <clears throat> I don't know if you saw this. Uh, see how <laughs> when it comes up, right? See, look, see the sweep? <laughs> I, uh, I wanted to delve in a little bit to... Um, it's interest. These instruments, these instruments here... I wrote those down to the DNA code, the, the actual graphics, and it's amazing what goes into these. Maybe I'll probably on my other channel. Maybe that should be a video I'll make. Anyway, so this is like the first app I ever wrote, which is resizable. Whoops. It's, these are resizable just in this corner. I don't know. I might change that later, but this is just how it ended up. There's no maximize on this first one. Right, so that's kind of annoying if you want to just, but you know, like this plot. First of all, this plot needs to come into the even the Android app, so that that's actually pretty nice. But nothing's hooked up, so there's no point in show, trying to show you the functionality. But I'm just go just real quick, just going over. So this is sort of just a bunch of ideas thrown together without really any kind of direction, right? Anybody could tell that, right? You don't have to. You could just see that. So I'm going to close that. So this is the latest and greatest. This is written. I just started writing this. And of course, I'm taking code from everywhere. I'm taking code from that other app we just saw. And of course, like I'm taking code. F see the our blinking button there? Uh, taking code from the app, uh, from the Android app. Um, you know, I'm, not tr I'm trying to not redo things. Uh, of course, nothing's hooked up. Here's an example. It's like empty here, no nothing there. The OBD2. This is just copied from the DTC page because this grid is a bunch of work. So I just copy and paste it just to the You know, it's like just raw. Nothing works. Nothing's going to happen here. Um, but basically, it's more of a driven app. You know, where you have this main page like the original one. And you can go into your DTCs and you're kind of, that's where you're at. You can't get any deeper. You can back out of there. You can go look at the about, right? And all you can do is sort of back out of here, right? That other app was, well, you can do whatever you want, whenever you want. There may be some restriction. Like right now, like you can maximize this and, and start, uh, let me see. Let me close this real quick and... Uh, Okay. Oops, opening the wrong one. Let me find where is my. Where are you? There we go. I just wanted to. Init initially, I load up this dummy list for DTCs just so I could sort of get an idea, right? Imagine if you had all these codes. It'd be like, I think I need a new car. <laughs> Excuse me. So. Um, I have this dummy list that only loads the first time. As soon as I hit get DTCs, of course, the action is it clears the list, right? So this will go away. It doesn't keep reloading it because that's too annoying f for me to keep up with in the code. I can put a little line in the code just for testing purposes. I don't want to put pollute the code too much with, like, weird testing stuff. Testing is a whole other 
uh, deal. Anyway, but this is just for like a sanity test. So this is what the app's going to look like. I, I have no idea how to distribute this. This is going to be free. You know, just download the stuff until like I become big, big and famous or out of town. Anyway, so this is not available right now because it just does nothing for us. I won't get rid of this original one. You might like playing with it and it does sort of work sometimes for some stuff. I already tried, you know, this works for my F-150 2007. It, one of these, I think the math doesn't work for my brother's F-150 2010 or I don't know. So this, this thing's a little funk fried. Um, but I'm not going to take it off the website. I'll leave this. Uh, the version is up to 107. And this will be like a dividing line. Maybe it'll be like version 1010. You know, I'll, maybe I'll, I'll, you know, add a digit to this middle to separate between this version. Because this is really sort of a primordial version. And here is a more disciplined version. Am I repeating? I'm repeating myself, right? So now I'm getting really boring. Anyway, um... But I find, you know, now I'm, I'm getting a better taste for simplicity, right? See all this stuff. That's nice. And I put a lot of work into these gauges and things. But the simplicity is, I, I really like simplicity. And the effectiveness, right? Read the DTCs. Bring, it, bring them in. Boom. They're in, right? And you see a list. I can't reload that list. Well, you know, if, I, if I close and restart, I can reload the list. But... You know, an app that just kind of does what you want. You would need a PC, of course, this for this. And, of course, you'd have your settings, your COM port settings. And, and of course, Bluetooth on a PC is, is going to be a COM port on a PC. I don't know what they do on iOS, but I have no idea. I'm not even dealing with that. This is a PC app or maybe Linux or whatever you put a .NET Core app on. Um, network, same old thing, you know. I put COM11. COM11 is actually, I don't think I have it. I don't think I have anything plugged in, so let's see if we... Oh, it's just totally like, oh, I can't even open that. All right, good. All right. So there's some function to see, but that should be red, right? Anyway. Anyway, put back on network, come in. So, so, so it's like very young and immature in its stage. Actually, it's got very mature code. It just needs to be sort of assembled together. That's why I kind of am kind of liking this PC app because this should just, this is really just a conglomeration of the, all the stuff I have before. I really shouldn't be really inventing things. Although some of these, you know, it's a PC, so there are particulars, right? Uh, is, is that enough? I think I've talked enough. You know, shorter videos are better, right? Right, okay. Anyway, thank you very much for coming by. I really appreciate everybody who has subscribed and watched and liked the videos and all that kind of thing, man. Um, I'll put links to my other stuff down there. This is not available right now. You can't really do anything with it. I mean, I don't even I don't know if this get DTCs even works. And I just got to make sure that the code is tight, you know, so it's sending exactly what I expect it to be sending. And, fails the way I expect it to fail, et cetera, et cetera. And I, um, I, I'll, I'll, I'll make it available before I uh, add all this functionality. Maybe if I can just get the DTCs working, I'll, I'll release it so you can have that on PC. What else? Read and clear DTCs. And then after that, I'll go for the PIDs. IM monitors seem like they're not important, but they kind of are important. I just saw a report that, you know, the black tape scam. Somebody opens up their uh, cluster, puts a black tape over. That's awful. Puts black tape over. But, of course, if you scan it, you, you know that what's the deal with the car. Oh, oh, you can't scan your car? All right, well, I'm moving on. So, said enough? I see. Yeah. <laughs> you don't have to tell me. I already know. I get to a point, believe it or not. Well, yeah, well, I'll just say I am tired of hearing myself already. So, you have probably left. <laughs> yes. but if you haven't thanks a lot for stopping by i appreciate it look i'm good i'm getting i'm getting ready to hit home like i'm hitting stop but actually that's not the stop button no the stop button's over here where you can't see it hey thanks a lot for coming by uh, i love all you guys and ladies and uh have a great night and evening and day it's evening here that's why i said that right but have a great day and um you know and all that kind of thing right all right, take care. Bye.